Hi, this is the last video, video number six of chapter one, Perfect Competition. We are going to talk about industry supply in the long run. So just to begin with this topic, we know that if the industry face any change in the demand, if the demand changes and correspondingly there is a raise or a fall in prices, the industry will adjust until it returns again to the equilibrium price. So it will try to find again the equilibrium with null profits because we are in the long run and we know that in the long run we will have null profits in the equilibrium. However, the shape of the supply in the long run in perfect competition is going to depend on the cost structure in a particular industry. If we are working, we are operating in an industry with constant cost, the yes, the supply for the industry will be fully elastic, which means that the supply will be an horizontal line. If we are operating in an industry that has increasing cost, when there are more suppliers in the, in the industry, the industry supply will have a positive, a positive slope. And if we are in an industry with decreasing cost, with economies of scale, the supply of the industry will have a negative slope. So let's see uh, these three examples. In an industry with constant cost, we know that the supply curve in the long run is a horizontal line, as I have said, at a price equal to the minimum of the average cost of production in the long run. Why? Because this is the point where the profits will be zero. If the costs are constant. If we have an industry with increasing costs, then the supply curve, as I have said, in the long run is going to have a positive slope. So when the production increases due to some change in the demand, it can occur that the prices for some of the factors will increase due to its scarcity. So then the slope of the supply, of the industry supply, will be positive. And finally, if we have an industry with decreasing cost, the supply curve in the long run has a negative slope because when the production increases due to change in the demand, it can occur that prices become cheaper. Prices of the factors to produce in this industry become cheaper for some of the production factors. So these are economies of scale. Okay, so let's see the first case where we have an industry with constant cost. So, in the first situation, in the sh a long run, we will be in equilibrium in the point where the demand equals to the supply. So, this is, will be the price, price one, and this will be the quantity exchange in the market. But for my firm, this will be my price, and at this price, as in the equilibrium, the price equals to the marginal uh, cost, and it equals to the average cost because we are in the long run this will be the quantity that I will produce so I am in equilibrium in the long run because my profits are zero then let's see what happens if there is an increase in the demand imagine that the demand increases for some reason so we have instead of D1 we will move the demand card it will shift to the right until D2. So what happens is that the price increases until P2. And we will have a quantity Q2 that will be exchanged in the market because the supply has not changed. So let's go to, back to the firm and we see that at price 2, as price is given, the, the firm is a price taker, at this price there will be positive profits because the, this point, the, the revenues, the average revenues at this point will be greater than the average cost. So there will be positive profits. And we know what happens when, when there are positive profits in the industry, that this will attract more companies to this market. So some companies will enter the market and the supply will shift to the right. So we will have a new supply curve, which is this green line, and we will try to find the new price. 
which will be again p1. Why is it p1? Because as the constant, the, the costs are constant in this industry, these curves are not going to move. So the marginal cost and the average cost are going to be the same no matter how many companies are there in the market. So we will go back until the point where the profits are zero again. And this point will be where the price is the same now it was before, P1. So my company, my firm will be producing the same that it was producing in the first point. But in the market, we will see that the quantity exchange is greater because there are more suppliers and more consumers. So positive profits attract new firms to the market and then it supply increases to S2 and the market goes back to the equilibrium in the long run. So what happened with the supply, with the industry supply in the long run? The industry supply in the long run will be an horizontal line. This is the supply in the long run. Why? Because this supply and this supply are supplies in the short run. And in, in the long run, we see that the quantity supply will be Q1 and Q2. Okay, because we always go back to the equilibrium. So this will be the quantity supplied in the industry in the long run. When we have constant cost. So this is a horizontal line. The supply is elastic, completely elastic. Okay. So what happened in the second case when we have increasing cost? This will be the original situation. The first point is exactly the same with that, that we have with constant cost. So the firm is going to be in equilibrium where the price equals to the marginal cost and then the profits are zero because this is also equal to the average, <coughs> to, uh, to the average cost. And then this price is given by the market because this is the point where the demand equals to the supply. So let's imagine that the demand increases, so it shifts to the right in the market. Then the price will increase until P2 and the quantity exchange will increase because as the price increases, then the supply increases, so the price will be greater and the quantity exchange will be Q2. So as the price is given for the company, at this price, again, I will be able to produce more and I will be having profits. So these profits, these positive profits are going to attract other companies to the market. Then the supply curve is going to move to the right because more producers will be attracted, will be entering, entering to the market. And uh, we will find a third point. So this will be the point where the supply and the demand is going to cross now in Q3. This will be the quantity exchange in the market. But let's see what happened for the firm. As we have an industry with increasing cost, this will mean that the marginal cost function, the marginal cost curve and the average cost curve are going to move up. They will shift up. This will be the new the new average costs, the light blue line and the green line will be the new marginal cost. The increasing cost means that when more and more companies are entering the market, the cost of the factors for these companies to produce something are going to increase. Okay. So imagine, for example, the case that I said in class that we have to uh, hire some engineers and this has increasing costs because when more and more companies are going to produce software, they will need engineers. So engineers will be increasing their wages because they are becoming uh, scarce in the market and they will want to uh, have a higher salary. So at the end, they will increase their wage and it will cost more to the companies that want to enter the market. So that's why the marginal cost and the average cost are going to move up. Okay. So at the end, the price will be P3 because this is the price where the new 
marginal cost equals to the average cost. And this will be the point where the profits are going to be again zero. So this is the equilibrium in the long run. So now we see that in the market, this is not going back to the initial price because we have increasing costs. So the point where we find the equilibrium at the end will be a point where we have a greater quantity exchange in the market, but also a greater quantity, a, a greater price that uh, the firm will have to take. Okay. So what happened with the industry supply? The industry supply then will have a positive slope as at the end the points where the profits are zero are increasing with respect to the price, I mean. Okay, so more quantity but also a higher price and this will have a positive slope. So let's see what, what happened with uh, an industry where we have decreasing cost. This is the original situation we were, where we had the uh, null profits and we go to a situation where the demand is going to increase. The demand increases, it shifts to the right, so we have positive profits for our firm because the price has increased. So this is going to attract more suppliers to the market and we will go from S1 to S2. But as in this market, the costs are decreasing when more and more companies enter the market, then the marginal cost and the average total cost are going to shift down. They are going to move down. So when we want to find a new price in this market where the profits are going to be zero again, we will see that this price will be lower than the initial price because the cost functions have moved down. So what happens at the end? At the end that we will find an industry supply with a negative slope in this long run. Why? Because the price will be decreasing when there are move, moves in the demand and in the supply. Okay, so if the demand moves, then the supply will move and we will find a point uh, for the equilibrium that is having a lower price. Okay, and this is the end of this video. See you in the next chapter.